Nothing brings divorced families together like a preschool sing-along. Today, I'm a proud papa. My daughter's graduating preschool, and I want it to be a happy memory, so she'll graduate high school like her mom and dad didn't. Today, in a church in Vacaville, California, a portrait of Jesus smiles down on the crowd of parents mobbing the pews. We're one big demolition derby of custody battles and buried resentment that screeches to a halt at the sign, slow down, children crossing, because it's all about the kids. All about the freaking kids. In here, everybody wears a frozen smile like a taxidermist did our makeup. Disney characters and diaper sales are the small talk life raft, and you would be shocked how many times Goofy and Pampers saved a soccer mom from swinging on the woman her husband left them for. And I'm no exception. I got a new girlfriend cradled in my arms who loves me enough to brave this hazing ritual. Gentlemen, no matter what the hell they say, nobody ever wants to meet the baby mama, especially when you're considering a vasectomy. I spy my ex in the back pews, her black hair gleaming like a knife in the stained glass light. As you walk towards her, my girlfriend realizes they're wearing the same outfit. The ex in red, the girlfriend in pink. Now I hear in the world of women that this is a declaration of war that's fought with catty stares and sniper subtitles that men thankfully don't have the radar for. Her new husband is big, tall, and handsome. The kind of man I always knew I wasn't. As we shake hands, the wedding ring he bought today clinch against my knuckles, so I just give him the best smile I got as I'm just happy someone finally volunteered to be her umbilical cord to reality. His own baby mama's here, a dirty blonde with split ends and an assault record against her new boyfriend who keeps flinching every time her hands come out of her pockets. Three couples separated by one penis and one vagina, like an evil chain letter that mails itself every time you sleep with somebody new. Nobody wants to talk. We'd all got evidence to stand up in court. So instead, we stand around saying, oh, it's so good to meet you. I've heard so much about you. The church organ kicks on and Ritalin's fan base violin, a march of drooling munchkins falling all over each other. A little boy keeps wiping boogers on his bow tie. A little girl has to pee and keeps grabbing her crotch. Scanning the future leaders of America, I thank God this graduation is in a church because some of these kids don't stand a prayer. Then at the end of the line is my beautiful daughter, Nadia, grinning smudged lipstick from ear to ear, wearing a dress she's managed to rip in the 15 minutes she's been wearing it. She says, hi, daddy, before she trips and falls and takes out a whole row face first into a pew. <laughs> the preschool has arranged for an awards ceremony where each child is given a prophetic career, like future comedian, because Tommy's fart jokes always floor the class, or future cheerleader because Sally's got such school spirit. As they go down the list of the future mayors and the future carpenters, some of the parents start to get nervous, thinking their kid is gonna win future syringe porcupine because Danny's always snorting the glue stick, or future pole dancer because Natasha makes Barbie strip for Ken. Finally, they say Nadia DeWolf, and I aim my camera like a hunter looking for the best shot. They bring her up to the front of the church, her face already blooming purple in embarrassment. And the school teacher says, well, as she has such a big imagination and just loves to tell stories, we award Nadia DeWolf the Future Author Award. Future author, a writer, like her dad. Now, I would have been happy with anything, all right? They could have said future terrorist, so I would have bought a box cutter myself. But a writer like me! Me and my baby mama's eyes meet, and an important truth is established in that sacred second. My DNA is winning! All of my sins have been forgiven with a certificate my daughter might not even remember. You see, parents ain't nothing but prologue. And my life is a rough draft I'm still writing into revision. But at least I know there's a future author who can one day pick up a pen and write her own happy ending.